Hey guys, it's Night Flame, and today, guys, I will be giving you a review for Only All Different Avengers, issue number 13. Uh, and it is a Civil War tie in. This is written by Mark Wade with art by Adam Kubert, I believe. Or it might be Andy. I think Adam Kubert, that's the one who works for Marvel. Um, but yeah, let's get on with the summary for the book. It will be spoiler heavy, and then I'll give you my thoughts on the book. So let's start off. Uh, so the summary um, the comic is vision centric it's all about vision and as you can see from the cover it's not misleading it is a vision book uh you can see that vision he is trying to go back in time to kill kang and um uh, he's trying to prevent kang from becoming the conqueror so he's trying to go to like the baby form of kang kill him and then you know basically see what happens but he's actually kind of worried about the paradoxes what will happen if he actually did kill king will the world change but you know what what is going to change that he's terrified about the upcoming changes of that event um like he knows that definitely paradoxes will happen and he also knows that you know kang has such a huge influence on many events so you know if he kills them those events probably would have never happened uh, so he's contemplating whether or not he should go kill him. So he decides to talk to Ulysses, then human. Uh, and that is the aspect that makes it become a Civil War tie-in. <laughs> Just because Ulysses pops up. And Ulysses tells them, you know what, um, let me see if something happens. Like, they all talk, they both talk about, you know, premonition and everything. And Ulysses doesn't tell him anything. Uh, so Vision decides that he is going to go and he's going to find Kang as a baby which he ends up doing, he travels through time, he ends up seeing this shadow creature follow him around, and the shadow creature follows him around until Vision sees Kang as a baby, right here. And um, the Vision is contemplating whether or not he should kill him right now, he knows the effects and everything, and the shadow creature pops up and he's like, okay, I've been following you around, but I'm not trying to stop you, I'm just letting you know that, um, you know, things, if you kill Kang, things events will still happen you know there won't be crazy changes but there will be some changes uh so vision is like okay that makes him a little bit more easy on whether or not he should kill him so he does something we don't know what he does does he kill the baby um or does he just kidnap him but um kang disappears and kang's family comes and sees his crib empty so vision has you know kidnapped them or killed them uh and where is the baby? That's the big answers or the big questions for the book. Uh, so what did I think about um, Civil War or not Civil War, All Neil Different Avengers number 13? I thought this book was interesting. It's definitely in line with the whole Tom King, you know, um, his vision of the vision, you know, how Tom King has written him as this like heartless creature or human being, whatever, synthesoid or whatever. Uh, Vision is exactly that. He is heartless in this issue. You know that he will do everything for the better of the people. Uh, and I think it's interesting. It's definitely in line with Tom King's, you know, the way he writes the Vision. So that's interesting. The art, uh, I thought, was better than uh, what I've seen from Adam Kubert. It's definitely, you know, good. Uh, but obviously there's, it's not as good as Mahmood's raw I, I do like Mahmood's art better. Uh, but yeah, overall I thought it was an interesting issue. It's definitely a Civil War tie-in in the aspect that Ulysses kind of showed up, which that's kind of disappointing. But, you know, it's a very interesting way to show the vision that what's his place in the team. But the negatives for me are, um... You know, I'm gonna say that one of the negatives is Kang, Kang the Conqueror. I could just not get into his character. I'm not not sure what division has against them. Obviously, this is all stemming from the whole first story arc, where um, Kang was the villain for this team, and um, you know, it just makes no sense. Like, I see no, like, I don't see motivation for the vision to go like, okay, let me just go kill the Kang, Kang the Conqueror. It makes no sense. Like, he could kill any villain he wants. He just picks Kang out of nowhere. Um, so I was hoping for more of a, you know, like, motivation for him. Like, oh, I'm going to kill him because he did this and this and this. But he didn't really say that. Uh, so I thought that was just out of the ordinary. Like, I thought it was weird that he just came up and he was like, okay, I think I might go kill Kang. So um, that was weird. Uh, another uh, weird thing that I thought of the issue was, um, you know, that shadow creature being following him around. Uh, but that's all ultimately going to be you know, answered. Uh, overall, I thought it was an interesting issue. Um, you know, to say the least, it was interesting. I was actually entertained. But the bad things about this is that it just feels 
that it came out of nowhere for the whole um, all new different Avengers team. There's just no lead up to it. The whole story arc before and they're in a happy way. Like, oh, the team is very happy with each other. They have cool interactions and just have this dark issue out of nowhere. It was definitely filler. So uh, interesting yet filler. Uh, I'm very com like in I'm very conflicted with what I want to grade this issue. I did enjoy it, but I just think that you know it just came out of nowhere and the whole Kang thing just did not make it any better. So I will be giving this issue a uh, I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. I think it's very solid and yeah. So definitely, guys. Give me your thoughts on what you thought about this issue. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Goodbye.